Eastside Park. Patterson. Say County, where the Patterson niggas at? He right here. Oh, no, we right here? My man say he right here. We in Eastside Park. Patterson, New Jersey, y'all see it? My man got a brick, man, just a regular brick. Just a regular brick getting that ad money. Core word. Improvise. Y'all see you, kid. Yo, we up in Patterson, man. Yes, sir. Man. We out here in Patterson, man, getting this working. What's so going we on? do. Daily shit, man. It's time to stay in shape. That's all. What's your name, man? My name Miles, man. Miles Mac. Miles, Miles who? Miles Mac. Miles Mac. Yeah. Miles, how old are you, kid? 26, 26. 26 and shit. Yeah. You see your tattoo for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish. Man, have everlasting life, John 316. Yes, sir. What's up with that, Ma? Man, I, I got this from my grandfather when he passed away. He always he always said this verse to me when we was younger, to everybody, my brothers, my cousins, so always stuck with me, so he always gonna be right here with me, so. Where you grew up at? I grew up in Patterson, I'm from Patterson. Well, where, where, where in Patterson? East side, right, right around this area, not too far from this area, so. Where you went to high school at? I went to Patterson Catholic. PC? Yeah, I played ball there. What kind of ball? Basketball. You nice? Yeah, I play. I went to. I went to play at Rutgers, and now I play professionally in Europe. Come on, man, my for real, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Boy, yo, man, come on, man. You got skills, man. <laughs> I do what I gotta do, man. I stay on my grind every day, so what, what I let are, my skills what, uh, speak for itself. Position you play? Play point guard. Nigga, you point got guard. handles or what, man? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I try. All right, but I check try. it out. Tell my people where the, where, the, where the YouTube footage at, where they can see you. Oh, they can go to YouTube and type in Miles Mac. And Spell oh, it. M Y L E S M A C K. All my highlights and stuff and will pop gonna up come there. Up? Yeah, it's gonna come up. I'm going to see that shit. Yo, and Miles, right, if it's it trash can, if it's trash, nigga, I'm going to come back to you and say, Miles, that shit trash. Right, if it's trash, can't come back to me and tell me. If it's not, just holding it yourself. No, I, I no, already I'm know what I can do. It's all good. It's all good. But listen, so you play professionally Yeah, in I play Europe? professionally in Europe. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I played in Poland this year. I played in Denmark, Lithuania. Yo, them Poland girls. Germany. <laughs> yeah, I played, I played in like four different countries so far. So oh, yeah? right after I got out of school, I went over and played. So. All right, now, yes. now, now, Miles, what's the process, you know, because we understand the draft process here right, in America yeah. and the whole shit, the whole hula they do on ESPN and shit. Right. How do you get on in Europe if you're nice with the rock, man? Right, yeah, so you got to, first you got to play good in college. You got to have good numbers. And then uh, you get in contact with an agent. Agents contact you and you choose which agency you want to go with. In Europe? In uh, no, you can, it's agents in America that, that got ties in Europe. But I got a European, my agent is from Europe, so. This is just like getting an agent. Why you ain't got no black agent, man? Huh? Yeah, man, it's yeah, a, it's caught a, him out there, y'all. Nah, it's a business, man. You just got to go with what's working and, and who's going to get the job done. So you. that's the most important. Exactly right. You're yeah, exactly I, don't, right. I, don't go, I don't care about what color they are or the skin tone. It's, if they're going to work hard for me, I'm going to put the results out. I just want them to work hard Facts. for me. So Facts. That's all I go about. Facts. That's exactly all it's right. about. Listen to this shit I'm talking about. <laughs> it's um, all good. Yo, 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 Miles. Um, so now you gotta be nice in college. <laughs> right. Get in touch with an agent. Right. And then what? They set up a trial or something. For uh, no, nah, it's no trial. Then you just go into the negotiating process with the teams that's interested in you and whatever, whatever uh, you feel is the best fit for you. And uh, the coach is gonna let you play your game to your best of your ability. That's the. The, and the money's right. You, you believe that the money's right there. That's the situation you go to. You always want to go to the best situation. Sometimes it's not only about the money. It's about the style of play, the coaching staff, the players that they're gonna build around you. Because if you play, if you sign for less money one year, the next year you never know. If you play well, then your money could triple, even go higher than that. You could go from making 50k one year to 400 the next. So it's just about just putting the work in and just perfecting your craft. And believe in yourself. Once you do that, it's like nobody can't tell you nothing. Yo, 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 Miles. So, talk to us about the difference between European basketball and American basketball. Uh, it's, it's it's very different. In Europe, it's more team team oriented. More fundamental. Yeah, more and shit. fundamental and uh, always working with your teammates. Not a lot of one on one play. It's more physical. It's it's harder. You're away from your family. It's, you got two days every day, so it's 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 tough because you're away from your family. 
thousands of miles away. You don't get to see them every day. You get to talk to them, but it's, it's different than seeing them every day. So, what about the language? Do you speak different. any of the languages? Uh, I know some words in certain certain languages, but for the most part, most of my teammates spoke English. So, okay, over there, so it's it was it was good. Yeah, okay. most, mo wherever you go, most of the time, your teammates and your coaches got to be speaking English, so. Okay. Now, Miles, what about the difference between European ball, the American college ball, and motherfucking street ball, like in Eastside Park and Patterson, or, or right. you know what I'm saying, that street ball shit? Yeah, this, yeah, coming from Patterson, you learn all of that stuff. Street ball, uh, fundamental ball, you learn all different which types one, of Which ball. one is the most competitive? The most competitive, I would say, probably street ball, because it's less fouls. You really don't, you really don't know who you're playing with half the time. So you really got to build the chemistry right there. You don't have time to build chemistry over time. So it's kind of harder building chemistry as soon as you get on the court. So I would say street ball is kind of, kind of the hardest because it's, it's a lot more competitive. There's no foul calls, less foul calls. It's more aggressive. Yeah, more, more aggressive. So yeah, street ball would be harder. But with the referees, it's also hard because you can't. Do certain stuff you can't double dribble. Most time in street ball, you can like get away with certain stuff. Walks but, and shit like yeah, that. exactly. And in real basketball, uh, professionally, you, you, most of the time you're not gonna get away with that, or your coach is not even gonna let you do that. Right. So it's like, Yo, Miles, what's your ultimate goal, man? With with the basketball shit. Yeah, my ultimate goal, is, man, is just to get to the highest level that I could. Which is? I could get, which is the NBA or Euro League in the, in oh, Europe. So that's why I'm just working hard every day. You're nice enough working. for it. Yeah, I believe I am, yeah. All right. So, but it's, yeah, you got to speak that shit exactly. up, Exactly. I do. I always speak it up. I'm going to get there. It's about me believing in myself, but also the people that are in those positions believing in me as well. So, But I'm going to always believe in myself. I think I could play there. So. What about your three-point game? You nice three-pointer? Yeah, I was I was one of the best shooters to, to come out of Patterson, I would say. One of the best shooters, one of the best players in the last... 20 years to come out of Patterson, so. I don't know. Tim Thomas came out of this motherfucker. Yeah, though. I know. He, he, you asked him about me. He know who I am. He, he know, know about you? Yeah. All right. All That's right. my guy, so. All right. All right. Everything good, though, man. Just out here getting this daily working, man. That's all. All right, now, Miles, talk about the workout routine. You out here in the park. You getting right. this aesthetics money. Yeah. Talk about the, the workout routines and the strength and conditioning y'all do in the professional European ball. Yeah, it's, uh... It's basically we lift weights like every morning. Basically, every morning we lift weights. Some, heavy. Uh, during the season, it's not heavy. The preseason is heavy, trying to get us stronger in our bodies. Cause during the season, you're gonna lose weight. You're sweating a lot. You know, you're running this you're shit. running this shit a lot. So you're gonna sweat that out. So during the preseason, you want to put on as much weight as possible so you could keep that weight going throughout the whole season. But the beginning of the season, we lift heavy. During the season, it's kind of Keeping everything together, you know, that, that's about it. What, what kind of food, what kind of diet y'all y'all on during the season? Does, does uh, the team provide you with like a meal plan? Yes, yeah, certain places you go, teams provide you with meals, but most of the time I cook, so I stay, I eat clean. I'm a pescatarian, so I don't only eat fish. I don't eat pork, beef, chicken, any of that stuff. So I eat clean, and I drink a gallon of water a day. So I just try to stay clean, healthy eats, and just stay in shape and do what I gotta do to get to the next level. Yo, my. Um, what about the confidence? What kind of confidence do you need when the coach tell you you starting or he call you off the bench and you get ready to go in the game? Right. Your shit can't be shaky. Your mental frame can't be shaky, can it? Nah, your mental frame can't be shaky. That's why you put in, that's why you put in all the hours during the off season to build your confidence and be able to believe in your abilities during the season when you get called into the game or if you're starting. So. That's something you got to build within over time. If you work on your game every day, your confidence is going to be there. If you don't, then that's when you're going to be nervous about your ability. So just working on your game, getting in the gym, get out here, get your weights and stuff in. That's all you need, really, to get your confidence to that highest level. Now, what about when you fuck up in the game and uh, make a bad pass, the ball gets stolen, you right. lose the game, or you go to shoot the final shot? You miss and your team lose, or you have a turnover, you have a bad game. Right. That can fuck a motherfucker's confidence up, man. Yeah, for sure. That's that's why we're professionals. If you know you didn't do something right in the game, you go back and you get the film tape, you get the game tape, and you go over the things that you did good, or you did you did bad, or how you could have changed 
certain things during the game. So when you get in that next situation, you got five seconds on the line, you know you can make a better decision. So it's just about just being a student of the game, watching film, and just being into the game as much as possible, watching your opponents at all times. You've got a game that week, you watch your opponent for that whole week. And then if you do that, and you're a student of the game, then mistakes are gonna happen, you just move forward. And you gotta live with that. It's a, when that's over, it's on to the next. You know, watch film and then just keep preparing for the next situation. How's your D, man? Your, your D money, man? Can you stick a motherfucker, <laughs> man, or what, man? It's good. Yeah, I, I think so. If, in Europe, it's, it's a defensive. It's mostly defensive. It's physical. So if you can't really stand in front of your, in front of your, in front of your opponent, then you're just not gonna be in the game. And then they're paying you to be there. You're just not gonna be there. If you can't do what they're asking you, they're just gonna get somebody else to do it. Because it's professional. If you can't do something, then somebody else can do it. So they're just gonna fire you. And, Move on to somebody else. Miles, what about your free throw percentage, man? What yeah, my, my free throw percentage is in like 88 to 90. That's my oh, so career. You with Steph Curry then, my man. career my career high free throw percentage is like 92 in college. Uh, nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. This year I shot 86, so I missed eight, I missed one, basically nine, it was basically nine out of ten if so you round up. So that's where money from the free throw line. Yeah, they know not to put me at the free throw line. Okay, y'all listen to them talking shit, y'all. Listen to them. Yeah, this is just what I practice, so I, I I do this every day, so I'm gonna be confident in myself. So you ball every day? Yeah, I ball every day. I do this. I Who use, you ball at? I go to a gym in East Rutherford workout, or I go to another gym in Rutherford Felicia College. I work out there. Where, wherever I can get a gym, I, I usually in a gym every day. I usually take like one day off to rest, recover. How many, how many, how many jump shots you shoot when you going in? Uh, probably five to six hundred on a. On a regular day, if I want to stay in there longer, a thousand to twelve hundred, something like that. Who's the Who's the best basketball player? Who's the greatest basketball player ever? In my opinion, I say LeBron. That's my favorite player oh, ever. Oh man, come on, man! You gonna I'm make me turn the camera You don't gotta man. turn it over what? Man, come on, man! Turn it over what? That's the truth. I like LeBron, man. LeBron better than Kobe, man. Yeah, I say yeah. Yo, Miles, come on, man! <laughs> Stop that, man! Don't do that, man! Don't do that, man! <laughs> Overall player, I say yeah. But if you, if everybody want to count in to rings, then obviously he can't be the best if we count in rings. But as an overall, that Bill Russell, Bill exactly. Russell as an overall player, I say LeBron. I say like he's the best all-around player. He could, he could score. He's not a scorer. He yeah, averages he can't, 28. He's scared. Of, he's scared of the last 11 seconds of the game. He's, when? he's scared of the last seven. He ain't taking the last shot. He ain't, he ain't taking the last he shot. He has Kyrie, before. Kyrie took that last shot when they won the championship. Yes. That sometimes, that, sometimes you got to take those sacrifices. Nah, nah, it ain't no sacrifice. He's scared they, of that moment. It was a sacrifice. They won the chip, right? Right, but Kyrie won that chip. How? LeBron got the block. He yeah, averaged, that was a butt. The score was 89-89. No who, who hit the exactly, final point? Exactly, 89-89. Who hit the if final Iga, point? If Iguodala made that layup, then what? Who hit the three? Kyrie, All but right, the, blo the block won the, the three when it came without the block. Man, LeBron is not no... <laughs> He's not no Larry Bird. He's Kobe better than Bryant. Larry Bird. He, he's not no Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, Reggie Miller, Michael he's Jordan. He's better than everybody you just named. Uh, in the last 11 seconds of the game, give me the ball, I'm going to score. He ain't, he ain't How many the, rings R Reggie Miller got? We ain't talking about rings. I'm talking, he's not before, a winner. You just said before, we weren't talking about rings. I'm talking about, he's not a, He's not even a winner. He has to have one. Player. He's a great player, man. He is. But he ain't. He, he ain't no clutch dude when the when the game is on the line. Curry man. ain't either. Who? Curry and they say he top two. No, Curry ain't Curry ain't nah. Curry ain't either. But that's what I'm talking about motherfucking Brian and shit and them them niggas like the monster killers. That's LeBron is in that it, he's top three to ever play the all game. Right, right, I'm I would stop say. Fuck with you. I'm stop fuck with you. I would say. I'm, stop. But I'm so, saying he won because he my favorite player, but I would say right, he top three right. if, if I was being real. All right. Yo, so no miles, check it out. Does do you read books? What's yeah. your favorite book? Uh Rich Dad Poor Dad, I read that By a couple who? years By ago. Robert Kiyosaki? Yeah. What what did you gather from that book? I got a lot of information. Two sides it's like two sides to every story. You know, you gotta take some certain things from 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 people that's not as educated, certain things from people that are educated and just put them together in one and become yourself and you learn from different experiences. Like me, I learned from somebody that's ten years old or 12 years old who don't have the knowledge I have or who do have the knowledge I have, but it's just, you get a learning experience from everybody, you know? There's no one person knows more than the other. You can always learn from everybody. Your mouth. So, 
Is man in charge of his own destiny? Does he affect the outcome of his life with his choices, his decisions, and actions, or is it determined in a book? Or our lives already written by a supreme, by a supreme being? Now I would say uh, our life is determined by our actions. So whatever you do, there's gonna be consequences to it. Or good, benefits. Good or bad, yeah, good or bad. So or benefits. So I would say, I, I would say the way my life went. I put in the work. I never, never looked for a handout. Gave excuses and it ended me somewhere where I, where I'm, where I want to be. So I would say. And growing up in Patterson, it could have been a whole Patterson, other way. Exactly. It could have, it could have, I could have been out in the streets, but I had good family around me to keep my head on my shoulders, and I know what I wanted to do. So I always stay level-headed, humble, and just stay in my lane and just do what I gotta do. My man, my man. What's up with the pull-ups, man? I need some pull-ups, man, before we get up out of here, man. <laughs> Talking about that LeBron shit, man. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. Yo, y'all, we Miles Mack, man. Young brother, 26, man, out here Eastside Park. Getting that good money, hammer grip joints. Nigga leaned out. He shoot 86% from the free throw line. Yo, Miles, do me a favor, man. Number one, I appreciate you for giving me this interview. No problem, man. And then tell the people, man, say, yo, fuck with Sean's YouTube channel, man. Man, fucks with Sean's YouTube channel, man. Yeah, peace. We out. All right.